Hi, my name is Ariana, and I'm going to show you how to use the Data tab in App Lab. When viewing an App Lab project or an App Lab level, you might have noticed that there are three tabs, the Code tab, the Design tab, and the Data tab. When you click on the Data tab, you'll be taken to a data library where you can see different categories of data sets that you can use in building your programs and apps. You can click on a category to see the different data sets within that category. Click on a specific data set to see a little more information about that data set. When you click on more info, you'll be taken to a different page that tells you more about the source of the data, any cleaning up of the data that may have happened, and information about each column. You can also click this preview button to see what columns are included, as well as some of the data that's in your data set so you can see if you're interested in using it. Click the X at the top right to return to the data tab. Any of these data sets can be imported and used in any program or app that you're building. Before you can use a data set in your code, you'll first need to import it. Let's say I wanted to import a data set in the geography category, like this US States data set. When I click on the name, I have the option to import by clicking on this orange import button. Then I can click on the name on the right to preview. Now I can see all of the data in columns. Any of these columns in any of these data sets can turn into a list in your project's code. If I wanted to, I could make a separate list for every column here. Once I've imported, I'm ready to use the data in my code. I'll click back to data and then click over to the code tab. The first thing I'll do is create a new variable that will hold a list. I'll call it state names. Now to get the data from the data tab into this list, I'll go over to the data drawer and pull out the get column command. Next, I select the name of the table I've imported. Now I can pick which column I want to use. I'm going to pick state names, but you can choose any of these down here. Because get column returns a list, meaning it gives you back a list, you don't need to create a separate list. Notice there are no brackets here. When I print out what's in this list, you'll see that we have a full list in the console log. Notice the bracket and all 50 state names in this list. Once you have this list in your program, you can use it just like any other list. So you can traverse over it, filter it, or anything you might do with another list. And this allows you to make really exciting, powerful, and interesting programs.